Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's weird because I don't have any audio signals. I'm still figuring out this camera. And what I'm talking about is my Osmo Action 3 that I got yesterday. It's all set up, I think, but I'm not sure because it's brand new. This is the first time I've turned it on to record something. Now, here's a couple of things. One, one thing that's bugging me right off the bat. I put the card in that was recommended. Every time I turn this some bitch on, it tells me SD card is slow. SD card is too slow. Recording may shut off. And I'm like, seriously? I bought the fucking card that it that was recommended to me. So I'm gonna have to figure out what happens and make sure if this thing turns off, <coughs> then I'm gonna be pissed off that I bought that that card. <coughs> and it doesn't work. Sorry. <clears throat> coffee down my throat here um, so now next thing is I'm heading to the UPS store to get the mount here that I got for the uh, for the dashboard so that I can hook all this up right now I have that magnetic thing on the bottom that you know basically has a, a an action cam connector but I connected an action cam connector to one of those fall cam F38 plates so that, you know, for now, until I get all that new shit set up, I can still use this in the Forerunner. At least the screen's nice. And that's the little front facing screen facing me, not, not the main screen in the back. And given that it's a bright sunny day and everything looks good still, uh, that's a good thing because I don't have any filters on it. Oh, wow, even out in the sunshine, it, it is compensating really well. That's kind of neat. So you can see clouds and sun and sky and everything behind me. Green trees. So this is probably less than, uh, definitely less than a, a, a ruler away from my face. So I'll be interested to see, one, what it looks like, two, what it sounds like. See how it compensates for the inside. Oh, it automatically adjusted. Okay, fucking good. So here's what I did. The arm is gone. So the, the monitor arm and all that shit, that's gone. I don't have that in here anymore. The tablet thing for the RAM mount is now pushed back and angled better. This now is where it needs to be so that when I'm driving, I can just rest my hand here and tap it as I need to. Here you can see what I installed, this Ruby grid mount. And I have three separate things on here. This was the old Ram ball mount. I just put it on there because I still got it. I might be able to put something else on there if I need to. This is the mount for this Osmo Action 3. And this is the uh, like super duper magnet thing that I'm using to put my work phone on, which is what I use for Waze. So now you can see from where I'm sitting, Everything is all good to go. Now, if I move over here, you can see like nothing is impeding the airbag or anything like that. She's got plenty of room because all this was here before. Now it's just missing that arm, which used to stick like all the way up to here. Um, so that's good to go. So now we're all set. Oh, that took forever. And it is seriously hot as balls out here. So yes, I rerouted all the cables so that they all work. So they're coming out of the box here, the USB hub, and I have them up here, zip tied to the post, so that way I don't keep dropping them and they keep going away and I gotta fish for them. And then this is the this blue one here, I have zip tied up here, and that's what goes up to the top here and powers this Osmo Action 3. And then this is the, the little, uh, aux jack cable that goes into the shitty cable that works most of the time and then that plugs into this ipod or ipad cable ipod jesus ipod cable that runs all the way into the back which of course goes down to this setup and as you can see i've got everything plugged in and ready to go i also have two usb c cables running out that are sitting up there so if I need to throw some power to my mics, but still wear one, 
that's what these are for. And then any one of these can power the mic that would go up, be sitting on top of there if I had to. Everything is where it should be. And here, I'll sit here. So you can see, I mean, yes, she's gonna hit there. I'm gonna have to tape this back up. But un unencumbered, all that is open now. She's got no blockage of the vent. I'm sure she's happy about that. So yes, all is well and all is good to go. Now I just need to clean this damn thing. Despite the fact that this stupid thing's shutting off, I love the colors. I still haven't figured out how to switch that. I've been playing with the settings all day while I was doing this and I can't figure it out. Cannot figure out how to switch all that shit. But 4K24 with Rocksteady uh, and it seems to be good to go. Okay, so now, once again, even though I got a new card, two new cards, the one new card that formatted just fine and I've been recording with, every time I turned it on, again, it, instead of it telling me it's too slow, it says that it, the formatting style is not compatible and it absolutely will not let me use the card, use the camera to record anything until I format the card. This is very uncool. So I got the second card and I formatted that and that's what I'm using right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm getting really pissed off. That's four cards now that I've used and I've had a problem with three of them so far. So it, it can't be the, every card. The, the chances of that are astronomical. So uh, I'm gonna have to do some searching on the forum to see what the frick. Okay, you knew that it was inevitable that we were going to be coming here because what do I do every time I get something new? I come to Great Neck Park. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here. Zoom all the way in. Okay, so not that much, but one in the tree, one in the tree, one not in the tree. And then of course, this is what it would look like if I zoom back out to where our, there is no zoom. So yeah, pretty decent zoom. So the only thing that really I have to worry about is the battery life on this uh, and, the, and the heat, of course, which I'm already gonna remedy because I've ordered the extension arm and then I'll have it for my trip for the Hyundai Shindig, then driving to my dad's on a Thursday, and hopefully being there Thursday night. I think you're getting the gist that this is pretty steady. It's rock steady, man. All right, well, that's enough of the test here. I think it all looks pretty good. What do you think? All right, I've shot a lot of video over the past few days since I got this thing. Not everything made the cut, but I think I put in enough for you to see and hear and give me your opinion. So that's what I'm asking for. Let me know in the comments what you think. How's it look? Does it look steady? Does it sound good? Does it sound good without the DJI mic? Does it sound good with the DJI mic? Some people I've watched said it sounded a little too muffled for them using this DJI wireless stuff. I didn't think that it did, but I'm also not an audio snob. Oh, something just crawling on me, sorry. Uh, I'm not an audio snob, so it sounds good enough for me as long as there's no squeal or hiss, or it doesn't have that like weird shitty tinny sound. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.